I hate the expression, it is what it is. You know, you're having a bad day, like, oh, I got a flat tire, my boyfriend broke up with me, and your friend's like, well, it is what it is. I'm like, no, it isn't. It isn't what it is. It just is. <laughs> right? You shouldn't have to repeat, it is what it is. You should just be able to say, it is. <laughs> Unless maybe you say it is, and someone goes, what? <laughs> then you can repeat, it is! <laughs> the same friend got a tattoo recently. She's so proud of it. She's like, Eric, I just got a new tattoo of a hummingbird. Do you know what hummingbirds represent? And I was like, no, but I bet you're gonna tell me. <laughs> She's like, they represent change. I was like, interesting. You know what doesn't usually represent change? Tattoos. <laughs> Not a big symbol of change. I do feel like getting a tattoo is a little like having kids, because it seems really cool when other people get them. But then you get one and you're like, shoot, I have this forever now? <laughs> it's not gonna be cute in 10 years. <laughs> I definitely thought I'd be married by now. I was like, in my 30s, of course I'll be married. I'll have kids, I'll do all the things, right? But now I'm starting to look at the bright side. I feel like if you're in your 30s and you're not married, and you don't have kids, it's a little like breaking even in a casino. <laughs> like you didn't win, but you didn't not win. <laughs> right, you didn't totally mess up your life, but you also don't really have one. <laughs> and my sister has two very cute kids. She has a five-year-old and a three-year-old, and the five-year-old, her name's Annabelle, and recently, my sister was like, I just want you to get married. Well, Annabelle would still make a cute flower girl. <laughs> and I was like, I just want to get married before Annabelle gets married. <laughs> That's my goal. I went to a dermatologist recently and uh, he, he was like trying to sell me Botox. He was like, go like this, and I went like this, and he's like, yep, you got those lines. And he's like smiling, I was like, mm. and he's like, yep, you got those lines. I was like, what, what if I just don't make those faces, you know? <laughs> I just like stand really still. And then he's like, how old are you? And I was like, I'm 30, eh? and, um, <laughs> and he's like, do you have a boyfriend? And I was like, no, not right now. And he's like, well, have you thought about freezing your eggs? And I was like, first you want me to freeze my face? Now you want me to freeze my eggs? I was like, the only thing I wish I froze was my self-esteem from before this appointment. <laughs> my parents have been married a long time. They've been married for 41 years. Yeah, 41 years. Has anyone been married that long here? Really? How, 40 years? 42. 42? You, you said almost. You're ca are you counting backwards? <laughs> You're 40? Wow, wh what's the secret to a happy marriage? Any ideas? Stay away from each other. Stay <laughs> I'll second that. I'll second that. My, my, uh, my theory about happy marriages is that I think they last the longest when the men almost never speak. Because <laughs> they usually say the wrong thing, you know, it's usually not right. And uh, I, feel like, I feel like if they don't speak, we'll just assume they're thinking the right thing, you know? <laughs> we'll just assume. So my parents have married a long time, and I think it's because, partially because my dad almost never talks, um, and my mom does all the talking. And part of it is I think my dad just can't leave my mom because he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> 
I mean, he loves her, but where is he going? Realistically, right? Where is he gonna go? 